Hello? Hello. Hello, everyone. Uh, oh, yep. Yeah. Uh, and then just minimize where it. Where is that? DLC, it's right up there. Oh, yeah. Right there. And then minimize it. OK. Hello. Hi. Sorry <laughs> about that awkward intro. Uh, We're just we getting are... all set up here. Yeah. Hey, you're not Jesse. You aren't either. Oh, my god. <laughs> We're not Jesse, um, <laughs> because he is a GDC. So uh, we are here instead to uh, still continue the art stream tradition uh, while he's in uh, at GDC. Lovely San Francisco. Lovely San Francisco. Lovely sunny, not cold Vancouver, San Francisco. First day of spring here, and it's oh, yeah. still gray and cold. Eh, yeah, that's, that's normal. But we still like it. But yeah. Um, all right, so uh, I think what we're going to do first is uh, introduce ourselves a bit because we're, ooh, I don't know, the lighting is all That's different. Great lighting. Uh, so because uh, we're a bit newer to Clay, uh, so we're just going to introduce ourselves and what we've done so far and uh, show you a bit of uh, our art that we've done here as well as some of our uh, personal art just to get you familiar with us. And uh, we'll start with Corey. All right, um, I'm Corey, not Jesse. <laughs> uh, I am an artist here, mostly an animator. Yes. Um, uh, how do we switch the window? We can switch windows so we can see some artwork. Um, uh, it's one of these. Uh, uh, Let's try. <laughs> oh, there, there it is. is. OK, here we are. So um, the last Oxygen Not Included uh, cartoon uh, or update short we did was for the jobs, the hats and stuff. And uh, I did the storyboards on those and I just wanted to show a few of the storyboard drawings. And uh, this was the big, this drawing here was the big epic uh, Meep finally gets his hat. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Might have been inspired by some other game. Uh, oh yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that um, if you're not familiar with storyboards, um, mine are very sloppy. But <laughs> well, storyboards are meant to just give um, the essential amount of information without like taking forever. And they're they're not meant to be beautiful illustrations, you yeah. know. Yeah, they're meant to be like here's the correct information. And Corey's very very good at doing that. Uh, the, I worked on the first uh, Oni short, not this last uh, one that just came out. Uh, and I, I loved following his storyboards. They were very fun to uh, improve on. Thank yeah. you, thanks. Yeah. So yeah, this is uh, one and shot. Here's yeah. another shot of Meep and uh, the uh, other two guys Yeah. talking about uh, how to make some goop. Yeah. I forget what the end game name for the goop uh, is. Glorp. Glorp. I don't know, goop. something like that. They're, they're food, they're, they're nutrients. And uh, this is the very beginning shot where uh, the other meeps are yakety yak, and as you can tell by the little yaks on the screen. Yes. <laughs> okay, and here's some of your personal art. Yeah, uh, uh, this is just a little tomato. tomato I love them. Legend of Tomato. Yes, uh, I play that game. I love tomatoes. <laughs> so if you ever wanted to see Link with vegetable for a head, there you go. Dreams come tr come <laughs> true sometimes. Come true. This oh, is a beautiful. character named Kaylee that uh, I came up with for a show pitch I did a couple years ago. I just really liked this drawing because I usually don't do a lot of detail. Um, I'm pretty scribbly cartoonist and I thought that was cool. 
Okay. Uh, and, ooh, is this some animation of tomato for a short I'm working on? Oh, yep. Yeah. We're having a technical issue. Uh, go to 50, 50%. Music's too loud. Uh, 47. Yeah, Good enough. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. The music was a bit loud. Uh, hopefully that's fixed for you now. Yeah, that's a beautiful piece of animation. Thanks. Yeah, that's just a rough artwork pass and then uh, have to put some color and yeah, stuff. but but all, all the little pieces like with different colors are are tracked and figured out. So yeah, mm, yeah. it's pretty close to being done. These are a bunch of uh, <laughs> Goombas. Like that's oh, all I yeah. ever draw are Goombas. <laughs> <laughs> it's just my go-to when I don't know what to draw. Oh, I just start that's drawing. wonderful. I didn't know there were such mustachioed Goombas. That's there aren't. Great. I just made oh okay, them good. Up. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, this is a cute little Medusa. I yeah, this gummy she's worm precious. Hair. Oh, I'd be turned to stone immediately. <laughs> All righty. Yeah, that's it. So let's look at some uh, of your art. Yeah. Uh, so here's uh, some of my art. It's going to be a mix of uh, stuff I did here at Clay as well as uh, my personal stuff. Uh, so I drew this loading screen of the Clay Varg, which I... I did like most of the designing for. Uh, I did a bunch of passes on it and I didn't know what to do. And then Tony swooped in and she kind of like implemented all my ideas into one clean, cohesive Varg. So it was like a, a dual effort. But uh, yeah, like the clay Varg was something I, I, I could say I mostly designed. And I was like, yay, I, it I did out that. Really yay. Great. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And uh, I Especially also drew. That one. Yeah, I, I like this banner image. I, it, uh, the banner images are a bit of a cleaner style, so it was nice to draw this one. The lighting is uh, really nice. Oh, That's thanks. something I struggle with. I, I, <laughs> just, I just keep adding layers in Photoshop and messing around with the transparencies until something works. happens. Yeah. <laughs> Completely works. Mm hmm. And uh, here's some. Oh, wow. I've been into fancy demons lately in terms of my personal art, so yeah. It's a just, fancy lad. It's a fancy lad. <laughs> it's just what I It's my kick lately, I guess. Uh, here's a more finished uh, artwork I did recently. Uh, this is some uh, fan art that was commissioned of a really, really old game called Legend of Lagaya. And someone, I guess, and someone wanted me to draw these characters. I also happened to play the game, so uh, yeah, here's some some cool snazzy poses of all their special moves and uh, more more fancy demons. I like masks and stuff. That's got a really nice uh, like Japanese. Oh, ink thanks. Brush. Um, who's the who's the artist for? Final Fantasy? Uh, Yoshitaka Amano. That's what he, it's Yeah, I, I, love, I love his stuff. Yeah, okay. So that might come through. Yeah, yeah some, cool. more, some more monster things. I like monster things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Legend of Luka. Oh, huh, cool. Uh, all right, and yeah, here's, uh, here's some of the, um, the Varg passes and, and the hounds, right. Yeah, so here's basically uh, up here. I kind of like, here's all my passes. I was like, should he have square armor? Should he do this? I don't know. And then Tony came in and, and she kind of took all my uh, uh, designs and kind of like smoothed them up a bit so they look a bit more. Obviously, he didn't have red eyes, but he, we ended up putting fire in his eyes. Yeah. So that was like the thing. And I got to animate uh, the hound. Yeah, really yeah. Fun. No, Corey did a ton of animation for uh, the um, the Chinese uh, Varg, uh, Chinese New Year Varg uh, update. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's you, super fun. Yeah, and uh, and we both did plenty of other stuff. But we're not going to sit here and dwell about that. <laughs> Always run into. Yeah, you know it's working here, so I'm just going to keep uh, yay, using yay, this. Yay. Yeah. Okay. Yay, That's yay, much yay. better. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you for your patience, everyone. <laughs> I apologize. Okay. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so let's, okay, let's make a, just a fun pose for this fuel weaver, which I'm just going to pull up some reference for. Uh, okay, I have it open in the other window over here, but, uh, yeah. You're going to see the chat. Um, I'm just going to open. And drag it onto okay, yeah. The, uh, on there. Oh, nice. yeah, there we go. Okay, so we have some reference here for our cool dude. And, uh. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Sassy Fuel Weaver. Very <laughs> nice. Well, he's gonna, he's gonna feel some kind of way uh, when I draw him over a here. Fuel Weaver body pillow. 
<laughs> oh dear. I don't know if we can head that direction over here, <laughs> folks, but... Okay, and I'm just gonna do a rough, rough drawing to kind of set the stage, figure out what we wanna do. Maybe he can Well, it already looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so good work. Thank you. It's just just a sketcheroo. I know, I know he has uh, some moves where he has like s raises his arms in the air, and I'm thinking because Wes is a mime, he can just kind of be like Meh, back at him or something. Maybe he's just kind of annoyed. Like, oh my god, this weird mime just won't stop bothering me. Or maybe not. Let me try and think. Maybe they're just kind of, maybe they're kind of just doing a dance together. Wes is so charming, he can make a fuel. Exactly, people. yes, or yes, dance. he charmed him, he charmed him. You know what, I, th I think we're just gonna go this route because we keep talking about charming him <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> I think fuel weavers charming. get a bad rap, so. Yeah, I know, maybe he's a sensitive side. And just nobody bother to ask. We just keep waltzing into it. He's his... just goth, you guys. He's just goth. Why are we judging goths all the time? Just hangs out in front of the mall. Yeah. Bleachy Bleach Bottle says, mime your own business. <laughs> nice. Nice. Oh, part of me. Just gonna save. It's over here. I, uh, I'm just a compulsive saver, so that's just gonna that's happen. That's a good habit. Yep. And uh, part of me, well, that technical difficulty distracted me from uh, drawing your fun new usernames. Uh, what kind of bleachy bleach bottle? What's, what's, what's an extra bleachy bleach bottle? <laughs> it's just like more white? I don't know. I don't know. A giant one. Yeah, just the extra, extra bleach, just like double, double bleach bottle, I guess. Oh, like with two spouts? Yeah, two spouts, <laughs> two, two handles. handles. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to think of something fun for this. And here we are. Bleachy bleach. The bleachiest. Bleach. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. I'd buy that. Yeah. You know, it, it'll it'll make you invisible. Like it won't it won't just turn your clothes white. You'll be gone. So if you're in chat, say something so we can see your yeah. usernames. Yeah. Yeah. Because we're gonna sketch your uh, sketch your usernames. Yes. S Dragonhead. Okay. So the first thing I thought of was that dumb S we all drew in school. Hey. That is not dumb. <laughs> that is the most awesome ass. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can remember to draw it first of all. Oh, that's weird. I usually do... Uh, is it this? That's close. You usually do like three lines. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then, wait, wait, wait. One, two, three. And then three more underneath it. One, two, three. Well, it's a bit far and away. Then, and then you like connect that one and connect that one. Wait, that which one? one? Like this? No. This? This one to that one, yeah. And then this one to that one. Okay. And then you, Oh, yeah. okay. Okay, the reason I was drawing this was... <laughs> but actually yours looks Ooh. better. Oh dear. Oh no, I've been drawing on the background this whole time. <laughs> it's the artist curse. Okay, I'm gonna make a new layer eventually here. Let me just white this up for now. And how can I turn this into a dragon head? Because I was trying to draw Mr. S dragon head as something, and I was trying to incorporate this silly S that we all draw. I just got so distracted by the nostalgia of that app. <laughs> You're like, oh, there doing. it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's see what kind of uh, other usernames we have here. 
Mr. Fuzzykins might be a good candidate. Oh yes, Mr. Fuzzykins is a great candidate. <laughs> okay, we'll get we'll get to Mr. Fuzzykins next. Yeah, not the best solution, but solution. There, it's an S with a dragon head. We have someone named Bronze Bot. Hmm. What was uh, Mr. Fuzzykins? Mis Mr. Fuzzykins. Mr. Fuzzykins. Oh, he's just a dapper little fellow. <laughs> just a friendly little <laughs> guy. Oh my gosh. With a beautiful, with a little bubble pipe. <laughs> Something that a Mr. Wholesome Fuzzykins would enjoy. Mr. Fuzzykins is a sophisticated, uh, adorable cat. Yes. There we go. Just going on a little springtime stroll. Let's see, uh... Oh, you know what? Mm. Mr. Fuzzykins in chat has just clarified that it's my Fuzzykins, not Mr. Fuzzykins. Oh, but oh I no. think this still works. Yes. It still works. I just wanted to clarify that. I see. Okay. Well, apologies for mixing up. Apologies that for up. me not knowing how to read. <laughs> there we go. Okay, I should stop drawing on the background. Goodness. <laughs> Mr. Fuzzykin standing next to a giant bottle of bleach. <laughs> Be careful, be careful. Yeah, careful guys, okay. Oh, you might, could you move that window down just? Mm-hmm, for sure. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> okay, so we're still on the uh, We're going West back to... Charming um, Mr. Mr. Fuel Weaver. Mr. Fuzzy Pins, Mr. Fuzzy Fuel Weavers. I was trying to mix the two and I failed. <laughs> it's all right. Mines Patch asks, did you draw Tony and yourself going after the Vargling Lyra? Uh, I think Tony drew that actually. Yeah, she drew that for uh, our stream together. And then I, um, I did the following drawing of us doing like antic poses, so yeah. Oh, that was Tony's cute, cute art. I was very excited to see myself in a Don't Starvey style. I was like, oh, that's me! <laughs> <laughs> Let's... So, Lyra. Yes. While you're drawing, um, you've been working in animation for how long? Before you came uh, to Clay? Oh, gosh. Um... Is it gonna, I think this May, it might be my fifth year? Nice. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I've just been working in uh, TV animation beforehand. Uh, worked on a couple shows. Um, worked on Home, that DreamWorks show that's on Netflix. And uh, gosh, this is. I actually worked on Home just a little bit as well. Oh yeah, we were both at Timos, but like we kind of narrowly missed each other yeah. or like. <laughs> well, um, when I was, working on home, I was working at it from home. Yeah. I wasn't actually in the studio, but uh, I really, really enjoyed that show. Yeah, it was it a lot of Netflix, fun. Yeah. My uh, daughter, it was, her, it was her favorite show for about a week. She she gets a new favorite show every week. And that's oh yeah. Awesome. That's a pretty high honor. <laughs> it's, it's a good favorite show to have, and uh, I'm glad uh, you had the honor of have, watching it in your house. Mm -hmm. So. Let's see. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out compositionally if this is anything. Pan three two one asks favorite anime. Let me see. Favorite anime. Favorite. Did I, I say that right? Anime. Yeah. 
An how? Anime? Yeah. How, how else? Oh, really? I'm thinking of manga. Manga. Yeah, I, I normally say. I, I, I think I should kind of switch between the two. Manga and manga? Yeah. Let me see. I said uh, manga once to a hardcore manga <laughs> fan, and I got chewed out for it, so I'm always conscious about it. Self conscious about that. Oh, yeah. Uh, I can understand. People are picky about that. Uh, that's, for some reason, that's just not a word I'm picky about, even though I do enjoy myself some animes. Um, favorite? Well, some top ones are probably Full Metal Alchemist. Uh, I loved. Let me see. Oh, I love Hunter Hunter. Hunter x Hunter, however you say that. Uh, I have a soft spot for that one. Uh, uh, I, I liked Avatar The Last Airbender for a more, like, North American kind of anime, I guess. Well, I mean, it was, it was done in North America, but it was, like, very inspired by uh, various uh, Asian cultures. And I think they did a pretty good job of that. So <coughs> I, I really like it. I, I, I especially like that one. I like anything with, like, movement and, like, um, I don't know, elemental powers. I like that kind of thing. Did you ever get into um, Cowboy Bebop? I, you know, I watched a bit of that, but for some reason I didn't finish it, even though it's like a classic, and like, shame on me, I know. Uh, so, my fiancé hasn't watched it either, so... It's one of the few animes that I actually, um, like. I'm not a huge anime fan, I like some of the... Some classics? Yeah, like the ones that are... Oh, yeah. Well, if anything, I love, like, studio... Well, when I, when I think of anime, I think of, like, uh, shows, but in terms of movies, like, I'm in love with Studio Ghibli yeah. movies. Um... Like, they're so good. What about uh, One Punch Man? Oh, you know? I love One Punch Man. Oh my gosh! Oh, yeah, we're yeah. talking about it. Earlier. Yeah, uh, it's it. I love it sense of. Oh wait, I love Mob Psycho 100. Yeah, that's that's one I like. Um, I couldn't get enough of, uh, and I can't wait for season two of that one. Yeah, there's there's a bunch of anime I like. I just like when someone asks you what you like, you're just sitting there like. I know it's um... like too many. <laughs> Like, Everything like asking, and also your... nothing. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite thing ever? Yeah, uh... it's like, oh, gosh. I, I think my one of my favorite movies ever is Spirited Away. I love that movie. Yeah, that's my favorite Miyazaki movie for sure. Yes, like it's... Um... Especially the English dub with uh, Billy Bob Thornton. <laughs> oh, uh, what, what did he play? Um, I haven't seen it in a long time, but he played sort of the, the redneck mm -hmm. obviously. Yeah. Uh, hunter guy. Um, I can't remember the character's name though. But uh, Spirit Away, Redneck Hunter. I'm sure the chat will tell us. Redneck Hunter. I I think it was a hunter. Oh man, it's been a long time. I can't I can't remember for the life. Oh no, it, it was the character that um, he's sort of a antagonist who is trying to capture. Oh, just forget it. I can't remember. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I can't remember. It, there's a lot in that movie, but you know what I remember from that movie the most is the Turnip Man, the giant yes. Turnip Man. Yes. Yeah, how can you forget giant Turnip Man? Not at all relevant to the plot, but I love him. Oh, and those bathtub ducks. I love vegetable-related humanoids. Yes! Oh my god. <laughs> Have you ever played Final Fantasy XII? Yes. Not, Do you remember not those, not. um... Whoops, I always accidentally do that. So, I get the history to go in. Um, were there turn up? Uh, yeah, there were there were like little vegetable people, and those were like the cutest thing in the world. Was Twelve was... the one where um, they switched to sort of a more action action it, fighting style. It was like MMO strategy yes. thing. It wasn't like like action would involve like hit X to attack, but it was more like you pre. Programmed yeah, your, like I don't know, like it, was, it was a lot. Yeah, there was on it on the enemies or something like that. Yes. Uh, the last Final Fantasy that I played and enjoyed was Nine. I think that one's my favorite. Nine, Nine is a beautiful one. Uh, I actually, um, for some reason, I missed out on that one uh, when I was young. But I recently, like literally just a few weeks ago, like played it. And it was, uh, it was great. It was one of my favorites. I think Six is my favorite. Six is a very, very good one. Let's see, let's pull up some, some, let's see, how do I organize myself over here? Let's pull up this guy. 
Someone in chat. Mine's Patch says I'm a Dragon Quest person. I actually um I, I heard of Dragon Quest and I, I would love to get into it, but like I heard of it only recently, so I know there's a lot to catch up on. I played um, the very first one ah. on the NES, but it was in the West. It was called Dragon Warrior. Oh, I see. And I remember it fondly because my dad and I used to play it and stay up all night and draw maps. And, and I had no idea it was called Dragon Quest until years later. And I was like, why did all these characters look so familiar? That's the same game. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I, I missed out on it, but I think that's not a, a rare, thing to hear for yeah. like North American people because it just wasn't as as big of a thing. And uh, plus, they have the cutest mascots, the little slimes. Yes, I saw one on your desk, <laughs> and I was like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> my desk is littered with slimes. <laughs> oh god, I should bring my Final Fantasy paraphernalia. In. <laughs> Just I know. I separate off. <laughs> you should. I'm always like, I don't know how much stuff I should put on my okay. desk or not. I, um, let's I just both bring in our nerd garbage. <laughs> <and> nerd garbage. <laughs> yes. Time to take out the nerd garbage. Yeah, I have um, I have a tiny uh, World of Final Fantasy Terra on my desk. Oh, cool. Yeah. Hmm, it's an interesting brush. But I'm gonna keep uh, using this brush uh, because it, uh, what, what is, I always, I know what anti-aliasing is, but I forget whether it's on or off, it that is. It looks like it's off. It yes, sort it's of off. It smooths the yeah, so line a bit. Yeah, so when anti-aliasing is on, you get those more like beautiful soft lines, but the nice thing about having it off is that when I make a circle and just go paint bucket, but there's like no, Oh, it doesn't make a little hair. Yeah, though. so yeah. for like quick little art, which is what we're doing right now, uh, it's just kind of best to have it off. Yeah, I used to um, draw in Photoshop and then I, I would always get so mad because every time <laughs> I would try to fill, it would make that halo and I would just go into every single halo and like... Oh no, before had... you realize you should make a new layer or... Yeah. Yeah. Like everything that I learned to do in Photoshop, I learned it backwards and then... Oh yeah. I was like, oh, there's better ways to do this. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, same. I actually, uh, first class I used Photoshop in was like this high school yearbook class um, where the teacher didn't really know Photoshop either, but like, so I was the most expertise person in Photoshop and I knew nothing. Like I was just barely figuring it out. <laughs> That's not good for the teacher. Uh, no, it's, I mean like she, she knew, she didn't knew um, how to take a picture very well and stuff like that, but like she just introduced Photoshop, but I don't know, it was whatever. I, I'm not saying she was a bad teacher, we were just all learning um, and... Well, she's uh, watching the stream right now, so... Oh gosh. Well, you know what, it's been like years. <laughs> just kidding. Sorry teacher, you didn't know the thing. <laughs> anyway, so I, uh, I drew this like I don't know why I drew Batman, but I drew Batman and he was supposed to go in the yearbook again. I don't know why. And I drew him like traditionally with inks and then I put him in photo, I scanned him and put him in Photoshop and instead of like, you know, separating the blacks uh, and making like a transparent layer underneath, I like went in and like carefully like colored <laughs> like, and it was a nightmare and looking back on how much time I spent on something that takes like literal minutes is just ridiculous. Yes. Like anything, you just, um, the more you do it, the better you get at it. Yeah. Let's see, any any fun usernames that came up or is everyone's just kind of gibberish? Some of them are <laughs> gibberish. That's, no, that's fair. It's like B M L one one two five. No, that's. It, it's a valid username. I'm just curious if there's anything inspiring that we can work uh, Yeah, I'm keeping my off. eyes out here. Yeah, no, no problem. I enjoy just our casual chats. Yeah, this is this is like one of Jesse's streams, except uh, like times two slower speed, you know? Yeah, like, Lyra and I are a little more laid well, back, which is uh, back. just as entertaining, yeah. I think. Yeah. We, we, we could never uh, hold a candle to Jesse, but uh, we're gonna try. I know, he is a very exuberant, uh, delightful personality. And 
He's, he's, he's like he's the best. He's the best boy. Yes, yeah, so we're we're just like a, a fireside chat <laughs> in comparison. Let's see. Man, you know, I could just draw this monster all day. I picked him because I'm like, coolest monster. <laughs> I mean, all the Don't Starve monsters are really, really cool. Um, I am just a sucker for skeletal horn things. I don't know. It's a and cool thing. Fancy demons. Fancy demons. Fancy demons. Oh, we got a username. What? Fluffy Zombie. A lot of fluff. <laughs> okay, but I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, let me just save this for now. Let's go over here and, uh, okay. Because I accidentally drew on the um, uh, the background layer, I'm just gonna kind of hide it for now so I can see what I'm doing. And mm, it's white. Okay. Let's see, fluffy zombie. We're getting some good suggestions um, for renaming "Don't Starve." We have. Um... Don't suffocate. Don't hungry. <laughs> okay, don't, don't hungry. <laughs> don't hungry. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Look. <laughs> don't. don't I'm easily amused. However, how much? As much as we love these suggestions, sorry to say, I'm not changing the name. Don't starve is the name of the game. He is. And always will be. But don't hungry is a strong contender. 